Hey what's up guys, Scamfeef here and welcome to this second Inform Lionel Messi review. Now this review is insane, I can't believe I'm bringing you guys it and it's all thanks to the bench chip for lending me this guy. So remember to check him out below, his links are in the description. Awesome guy, make sure you do go check him out. But anyway guys, he does cost around 1.6 to 1.7 million currently, so that is why we're going to put the price tag on there. But anyway guys, into the review, 6 games played, 10 goals and 3 assists. I played him in his centre forward position because that's his natural position and to be honest if I was going to play him anyway I'd probably play him at Cam. But I'll get into that a bit more. But we're going to look into the stats first. And as you can imagine, some ridiculous stats on this guy. A lot of 99s, as expected with such a high rated player. And 99 dribbling, trust me, that isn't a lie. His dribbling is ridiculous. 99 finishing, I'm not sure if I agree with that or not. His finishing's good, but I don't believe it's that good. I have played with a lot of better players that are um, finished just a lot better. 62 strength, I actually agree with. But the fact that he's got such high balance means, although he will get the ball taken off him, he's not going to end up on his ass like a lot of players do. He'll get back up and win it back, which is just incredible to be honest. And um, yeah, well he is 96 rated, you would expect that sort of thing. But yeah, I was quite shocked that he didn't just get knocked on his ass like he did last year for me. But in general, look at this pass and play with Pedro. Awesome pass to Pedro, and he gets played back to him and then runs back up the field and uh, nicely finesses it into the back of net. Which brings me on to my next point about him. This guy, outside the box of his long shot finesses, are incredible. You can see that here, which is just awesome finishes. Brilliant curling shots, which are awesome. But, his finishing inside the box, this is the one thing that annoyed me about him. He would go on some insane runs, and I'd just shoot naturally, and he'd smash it straight at the keeper, which was just irritating. Inside the box, unless I finessed it, 9 times out of 10 it was going straight at the keeper, which was a bit disappointing to be honest. But um, yeah, it's Lionel Messi. He's known for his finesses, and his finesses in-game are incredible. Really enjoyed using this guy overall, because his shooting was so damn nice. As soon as I got used to him, in the first one or two games, I wasn't used to him. He wasn't doing that well for me. But as soon as I got used to him, this guy was awesome. Would I play him at striker? Probably not, to be honest. I'd definitely use him at centre-forward or cam, to be honest, because his passing is so, so good. It, you don't see it through the assists. He's only got three assists, but his passing in general play, the build-up play to the goals, was just so good, and it just created so many chances, which was awesome. Advantages of this guy, his finishing is ridiculously good once you're used to it. He's got ridiculous Kelly and um, long shots, which are awesome, and his passing is incredible. He's not as fast as 93 pace would suggest, but still a very quick player with awesome dribbling. Really enjoyed reviewing this guy. The only one disadvantage is he gets knocked off the ball quite a bit, but as I said, it turns into an advantage when he actually wins the ball back. But anyway, guys, thanks to the bench for lending me this player. Thanks to you guys for watching. Leave a like, that'll be appreciated. And thanks for watching. Adios.